one. Now, we will start going over some C sound fundamentals. Two. A C sound file has two sections, the orchestra and score. The orchestra defines the different instruments. The score defines the individual audio events, such as notes. Three. The orchestra might have a number of instruments. Each instrument will have some different identifying number. After the instrument number, a number of statements follow. These statements are known as the instrument block. The last line in the instrument block is usually an opcode to route the audio output. The instrument is delimited by the opcode and in. The indentation is the usual indentation found in the C sound documentation, but the C sound compiler does not pay any attention to any white space, other than the requirement that each opcode must be in a separate line. 4. This is an example of an instrument. This particular instrument has a block with four lines. As long as C sound encounters the delimiters, instru, and end in, it will know where the block starts and ends. We have an out statement as the last opcode in the instrument block, so an audio signal is generated. 5. The score line has the format given in the example. The first character is the letter I. There are other score letters, which we will go over in further tutorials. The first three numbers, here, correspond to the instrument number, the start time, and the duration. 6. The first three numbers in the score line are known as P1, P2 and P3. These are collectively called the P fields. There might be other numbers such as P4, P5, and so on. The meaning of the additional P fields will be instrument dependent. For example, P4 might be the frequency. 7. C sound uses two kinds of rates, known as audio rate and control rate. Any audio rate or a rate statement is run at a sampling rate, SR likewise. Any control rate or K rate statement is run at a control rate, KR variables which are K rate may influence, that is, control, audio rate variables. Only audio rate variables can be sent to the output audio channels. Further, in a final rendering to an audio file, we usually set the two rates equal. 8. The line opcode creates a simple line, over two and points, which are separated by some time duration. We only have to give values at the two and points. Line opcode has two formats. One is an audio rate format. The other is the control rate format. 9. The opsamp opcode is also used in the example instrument block. The opcode merely changes the rate of a signal from control rate to audio rate. It does so by merely repeating values, not by doing any interpolation. We could also use an equal sign, instead of opsamp opcode, if we wish. 10. This is an example of the two rates. The way C sound knows if we have a K rate or a A rate statement is whether a particular result variable begins with letter K or the letter A. Here, the sampling rate, SR, is the usual CD rate and KR is 10 times lower. That is, one control signal will control 10 audio samples. The two rates, given here, are the C sound defaults. 11. In C sound, different instruments may be called at different times from within the score section. The score section might have many score statements. When a particular instrument is called, all variables prefixed by the letter I are calculated. These are called I time variables, that is, initialization time variables. 12. All the instrument lines are in one block of statements. Even though the statements inside these blocks might seem to be executed one after another, they are not, and loops are implied depending on the prefixes of the result variables. First all light time statements are done. Next a loop is started for K rate statements. 
During each K raid loop, a vector, that is, an array, of length K S M P S is calculated for each array variable. Thus, if K R is 10 times lower than S R, the vector length, K S M P S, is 10. Any array variable may be sent to the audio output. 13. Comments start after a semicolon and are ignored by the C sound compiler. The comments can either be the entire line or just the end of a particular line. 14. This is the instrument one example with comments. 15. This is the C sound CSD file that will be created by the Python program which will be described later in future tutorials. Note, there are tags here, which structure the file in two different sections. 16. You will find additional information at pythonaudio.blogspot.com.